the book of the prophet Ezekiel, chapter 15. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, what is the vine tree more than any tree, or than a branch which is among the trees of the forest? Shall wood be taken thereof to do any work, or will men make a pin of it to hang any vessel thereon? Behold, it is cast into the fire for fuel. The fire devours both the ends of it, and the midst of it is burned. Is it meat for any work? Behold, when it was whole, it was meat for no work. How much less shall it be meat for ye for any work, when the fire has devoured it, and it is burned? Therefore, thus says the Lord God, as the vine tree among the trees of the forest, which I have given to the fire for fuel, so will I give the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And I will set my face against them. They shall go out from one fire to another fire, shall devour them. And ye shall know that I am the Lord when I set my face against them. And I will make the land desolate, because they have committed a trespass, says the Lord God. Chapter 16. Again, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, cause Jerusalem to know her abominations, and say, Thus says the Lord God unto Jerusalem, Thy birth and thy nativity is of the land of Canaan. Thy father was an Amorite, and thy mother a Hittite. And as for thy nativity, in the day thou was born, thy navel was not cut, neither was thou washed in water to supple thee. Thou was not salted at all, nor swaddled at all. None I pitied thee to do any of these unto thee, to have compassion upon thee. But thou wast cast out of the open field to the loathing of any person in the day that thou wast born. And when I passed by thee and saw thee polluted in thine own blood, I said unto thee then, When thou wast in thy blood, live. Yes, I said unto thee, When thou wast in thy blood, live. I have caused thee to multiply as the bud of the field, and thou hast increased and waxed great, and thou art come to excellent ornaments. Thy breasts are fashioned, thy hair is grown, whereas thou was naked and bare. Now when I pass by thee and I look upon thee, behold, thy time was the time of love, and I spread my skirt over thee and covered thy nakedness. Yes, I swear unto thee and entered into a covenant with thee, says the Lord God, and thou became mine. Then washed I thee with water. Yes, I thoroughly washed away the blood from thee, and I anointed thee with oil. I clothed thee also with broidered work, and shod thee with badger's skin, and I girded thee about with fine linen, and I covered thee with silk. I decked thee also with ornaments, and I put bracelets upon thy hands, and a chain on thy neck, and I put a jewel on the forehead, and earrings in thine ears, and a beautiful crown upon thine head. Thou was thou decked with gold and silver, and the remnant was of fine linen and silk embroidered work. Thou did eat fine flour and honey and oil, and thou was exceeding beautiful, and thou did prosper into a kingdom. And thy renown went forth among the heathen for thy beauty. For it was perfect, though my comeliness which I had put upon thee, says the Lord God. But thou did trust in thine own beauty, and played the harlot because of thine renown, and pierced of the fornications on every one that passed by. His it was. And of thy garments thou did take thou, and dex thy high places with diverse colors, and played the harlot thereupon. Like things shall not come, neither shall it be so. Thou hast also taken thy fair jewels of my gold and my silver, which I have given thee, and made to thyself images of men, and did commit whoredoms with them, and took thy broidered garments and covered them. And thou hast set mine oil and mine incense before them, my meat also which I gave thee, fine flour and oil and honey wherewith I fed thee. Thou hast even set it before them for a sweet Savior, and thus it was, says the Lord God. Moreover, thou hast taken thy sons and thy daughters, whom thou hast borne unto me, and the, these hast thou sacrificed unto them to be devoured. This is of thy whoredoms a small matter, that thou has slain my children and delivered them to the, cause them to pass through the fire for them. And in all thine abominations, thy whoredoms, thou hast not remembered the days of thy youth, when thou was naked and bare and was polluted in thy blood. And it came to pass after all the wickedness, woe, woe unto thee, says the Lord God, that thou hast also built 
unto thee an eminent place, and has made thee a high place in every street. Thou hast built thy high place in every head of the way, and has made thy beauty to board, and has opened thy feet to every one that passed by, and multiplied thy whoredoms. Thou hast also committed fornication with the Egyptians, thy neighbors, great of flesh, and has increased thy whoredoms to provoke me to anger. Behold, therefore I have stretched out my hand over thee, and have diminished thee thine ordinary food, and delivered thee unto the will of them that hate thee, the daughters of the Philistines, which were ashamed of thy lewd way. Thou hast played the whore also with the Assyrians, because thou was unstable. Yes, thou hast played the harlot with them, and yet could not be satisfied. Thou hast moreover multiplied thy fornication in the land of Canaan unto Chaldea, and yet thou hast not satisfied herewith. How weak is thine heart, says the Lord God, seeing thou does all these things the work of an imperious warish woman, in that thou built thine eminent place in the head of every way, and makes thy high place in every street, and has not been as a harlot, in that thou scorns tire. But as a wife that commits adultery, which takes strangers instead of her husband, they give gifts to all whores, but thou gives thy gifts to all thy lovers, and hires them, that they may come unto thee to every side for their whoredom. And the contrary in thee, from other women in the whoredoms, whereas none follows thee to commit whoredoms, and in that thou gives a reward, and no reward is given unto thee, therefore thou art contrary. Wherefore, O harlot, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God, because thy filthiness was poured out, and thy nakedness discovered through the whoredoms with thy lovers, and with all the idols of thy abomination, and by the blood of the child which thou did give unto them, behold, therefore I will gather all the lovers with whom thou hast taken pleasure, and all them that hast loved, with all them that has hated, I will gather them around about against thee, and will discover thy nakedness unto them, that they may see all thy nakedness. And I will judge thee as women that break wedlock and shed blood are judged, and I will give thee blood and fury and jealousy. And I will also give thee into the hand, and they shall throw down thine eminent place, and shall break down thy high places. They shall strip thee also of thy clothes, and shall take thy fair jewels, and leave thee <clears throat> naked and bare. They shall also bring up a company against thee, and they shall stone thee with stones, and thrust thee through their swords. And they shall burn thine houses with fire, and execute judgments upon thee in the sight of many women. And I will cause thee to cease from playing the harlot, and thou also shalt give no hire any more. <clears throat> so will I make my fury toward thee to rest, and my jealousy shall depart from thee, and I will be quiet, and there will be no more anger. Because thou hast not remembered the days of thy youth, but hast fretted me in all these things. Behold, therefore, I also will recompense thy way upon thine head, says the Lord God, and thou shalt not commit this lewdness upon all the abominations. Behold, every one that uses proverbs shall use this proverb against thee, saying, As is the mother, so is her daughter. Thou art thy mother's daughter, that loathes her husband and her children. Thou art the sister of thy sisters, which loathe their husbands and their children. Your mother was a Hittite, and your father an Amorite. And thine elder sister is Samaria, she and her daughters that dwell on the left hand, and thy younger sister that dwells at the right hand, is Sodom and her daughters. Yet hast thou not walked after her ways, nor done after their abominations, but as if that were a very little thing, that thou were corrupt more than they in all thy ways. As I live, says the Lord God, Sodom thy sister has not done, nor her daughters, as thou has done, thou and thy daughters. Behold, this is the iniquity of thy sister Sodom, pride, fullness of bread, and abundance of idleness was in her and in her daughters. Neither did she strengthen in the hand of the poor and the needy, and they were haughty and committed abomination before me. Therefore I took them away as I saw good. Neither has Samaria committed half thy sins, but thou hast multiplied the abominations before then they, and hast justified thy sisters in all thine abominations, which thou hast done. Thou also, which hast judged thy sisters, bear thine own shame for their sins, and thou hast committed more abominable than they. They are more righteous than thou. Yes, they be confounded also. They bear the shame that in that, in that thou hast justified thy sisters." 
when I shall bring again their captivity, the captivity of Sodom and her daughters, and the captivity of Samaria and her daughters, then will I bring again the captivity of the captives in the midst of them, that, they, that thou may bear thine own shame, and may be confounded in all that thou hast done, and that thou art a comfort unto them. When thy sister Sodom and her daughters shall return unto their former estate, and Samaria and her daughters shall return to their former estate, then thou and thy daughters shall return to your former state. For thy sister Sodom was not mentioned by the mouth in the day of the pride, but for thy wickedness was discovered as at the time of the reproach of the daughters of Syria. And all that were round about her, the daughters of the Philistines which despised thee round about, thou hast bored thy lewdness and thine abomination, says the Lord. For thus says the Lord God, I will even deal with thee as thou hast done, which has despised the oath and breaking the covenant. Nevertheless, I will remember my covenant with thee in the days of thy youth, and I will establish unto thee an everlasting covenant. Then thou shalt remember the ways, and be ashamed, when thou hast re received thy sisters, thine elder and thy younger, and I will give them unto four daughters, but not by the covenant. And I will establish my covenant with thee, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord that thou may remember and be confounded, and never open thy mouth any more because of thy shame, when I am pacified toward thee with all that thou hast done, says the Lord God. This is the word of the Lord. Thank you. I love you with all my heart. In your loving name I pray. Amen.